In this video, we're going to look at the higher order functions you're required to know about for your exam, which is map, filter, and fold or reduce. So a higher order function is a function which either takes a function as an argument or returns a function as a result, or does both. And for your exam, you need to know about the following higher order functions, map, filter, and reduce or fold. Let's take a look at each in turn. So map takes in two arguments as inputs. The first argument is a function, and the second is a list. The function is applied to each item of the list, and what it produces as output is a new list. So we have a function here called triple, uh, which is going to take whatever you pass into it and triple it. And we have our second argument, which is a list. So when I call map, I supply it with its first argument, is my function. The second argument is a list, and what map does is applies this function to each element of this list. So you can see that here. And what it chucks out is a brand new list, which of each of these numbers tripled. And we've shown you the output down here as well. Filter takes in two arguments as inputs as well. It takes in a predicate, which basically is to define a Boolean condition, and you can either write this directly or as a function, we'll look at both. And again, it takes a list. The function, or the predicate, is then applied to each item of the list, and the list that gets chucked out at the end is only the elements that match. So I've supplied the Boolean condition directly here. I've said greater than two, and I've supplied it with a list. So the greater than two gets supplied to each item of this list one at a time, and only the ones that match or are true get chucked out in the resulting list. As we said, it's also possible to supply in a function. So we've got a function here called isOdd, and isOdd uh, returns a Boolean condition, which it can obviously compare, true or false. Um, so when we now call filter, we say filter isOdd, and the isOdd function is applied to each element. And of course what gets returned is a list where only the odd elements of the original list match. Now bear in mind of all this, the original list is not being altered at all because items in functional languages are immutable and can't be changed. This is a new list being generated here. The final function is fold or reduce. Now this applies a function recursively to items of a list to produce a single value, so it folds down a list to a single value. You supply an initial value, which is combined with the first element of the list, in this case zero, the result of this is then recursively combined to each next item in the list. So for example, to sum all of these items up, we would say fold L plus supply the list along with initial starting value. And it first applies initial starting value to the first element, naught plus naught is naught, and then it recursively passes that, so now naught gets passed to here, and we have naught plus three is three. Now this gets passed to here, so three plus two is five, and it carries on, so on and so forth, until 22 comes out the other end. Now in Haskell, we actually have to use fold L and fold R, and all that does is either start from the left or start from the right. 